What is going on guys? Thank you for being here. Please like the video if you enjoy it. Today we are working up to the heaviest deadlifts that I've done in the last two years. Should be pretty interesting. Get 425 for two reps. We got it up. I got the job done. That's exactly what I wanted today. I'm happy about that, but it did not feel good. It definitely did not look good. There's a lot of form breakdown. You guys saw my hip shot up too early. That's a problem that I've always had, so I'm gonna have to work on that, but that now is not the time. When you're working into the 90 to 95% of your one rep max, you don't wanna be thinking about cues that you need to fix. You need to be focused on moving the weight as safely as possible without overthinking it. So that's something that I'll focus on later on in my next training cycle. You guys know I'm running this, I think it's still gonna be called PRS or whatever Brandon decides to call it, but I know that he's going to be releasing it for the public very very soon so I would highly encourage that you guys have probably seen if you've been following along in the last nine weeks I've hit a PR on my squat bench and deadlift and it's been pretty significant especially my bench an all-time PR a lifetime PR so I'm super happy with the way things that are going I might try to do some maxing out next week perhaps I'll talk to Brandon we'll figure it out but I have some back off sets and then I'm getting out of here it is absolutely beautiful outside. It's January something and it has to be at least 75 degrees. The sun is out. It feels amazing. This is my favorite part about living in Texas. Well, it might be my second favorite part because my favorite restaurant here, I think, is only in Austin. And if you guys ever come here, you have to try Chilantro. While you're out partying again, acting single with your friends, while I'm waiting for something brand new. And lack of this initiative won't get me anywhere again. Okay, we got the spicy chicken salad with some corn, cabbage, and kimchi. If anyone can tell me what kimchi is in the comments down below, I would really appreciate it. I don't know what it is, but I love it. And this thing is a 15 out of 10. Bye. You know, I'm only 29, so it's hard for me to say indefinitely, but this might be, weather-wise, the nicest day of all time. It is just amazing. I feel like I've already said that in this video, so I am taking a walk, one, to get out of the apartment, two, to go to one of my favorite stores of all time. Probably one of the best stores that has ever been invented, one of the best items that has ever been invented. That's for sure. We just so happen to have a store. I'm shutting up now. All right, so we have got everything that we need here, folks. We got our coffee, we got our Lululemon sweatpants, we do not have a paycheck left, but all is good. I made the mistake of starting Friends on Netflix. The chance of me watching every single episode in the next few months, unfortunately, is probably pretty good. But I wanted to get back to my roots here. We're gonna do some meal prep. It's the new year, everyone is trying to eat right, look a little bit better, lose some weight. I've actually lost six pounds in 2019 already, mainly just from better food choices. I'm not counting my calories, I'm not counting macros, my battery compartment is open, but I'm just doing a little bit better in terms of food choices. Now, because I am not a single bachelor any longer, you guys are gonna reap some benefits from that because I've got a new recipe for you. It is spicy potato soup, if you guys saw that in a few videos back. This is delicious. The hardest part is peeling the potatoes. That's all, I mean, if you can get past that, you're gonna be good. Peel the potatoes, slice the potatoes, that's step number one. 
Okay, so I'm gonna put the original recipe on the screen right now so you guys can check that out for the people that wanna follow everything to a T, but in my opinion, recipes are kinda like Instagram sluts and you really shouldn't follow them. So I'm gonna change things up a bit. I am going to double the amount of protein. I'm going to add two pounds of ground beef because I'm trying to make some gains over here. I'm gonna lower the amount of potatoes just by a little bit, higher protein, a little bit lower in carbs. And that's what's great about this recipe is you can really adjust it to hit your macros, whatever that is, or whatever nutritional values that you want it to be, it's your world, we're just living in it. Okay, boys and girls, so for the first part, it's gonna be super simple. All we're gonna do is dump three cans of this tomato sauce. You can use any kind that you like. This is just what was on sale this week. All right, so the ground beef is pretty well cooked. I'm gonna use this nice little special spoon with a slit in the bottom, try to get some of that grease out of there. And I'm just gonna transfer all of this into my big pot. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put all the potatoes and the onions that I've sliced up into this big old thing. Okay. One other thing we're gonna add that the original recipe did not call for is a can of peas, get some vegetables in there. And then I am going to need to add 32 ounces of water. Check this out guys. Now I've got this nice thing I'm no longer drinking out of the sink. What is happening in my life? I need a favor from you guys. I need you to think of your best friend, your best friend in the entire world. What is their name? Think about that and then I need you to just forget about it unless their name is Pete because this is your new best friend. Texas Pete, in fact, needs to go in this. You can make it as spicy or as non-spicy, I guess would be the word, as you like. I like to be a little bit generous with this because this is some delicious hot sauce. It adds a ton of flavor. And if you like, if you don't want to add a lot now, you can always add more once you uh, kind of portion it out after it's done cooking. And that right there is pretty much it. I'm gonna let it boil and once it does, I'm gonna put it on a simmer for about an hour just let it sit there, sit and forget, and I'm gonna have lunch for the entire week. So the whole point of this is untraditional meal prep. It doesn't have to just be boring chicken and rice all the time. A stew like this or a soup, just get creative, think outside the box. As long as you're hitting the macronutrients that you want with the food quality that you desire, that's really all that's gonna matter at the end of the day. So that's gonna take care of lunches for the week. For dinner, I'm gonna make up these pork chops going along with the untraditional foods. A lot of people don't even think about pork, but it's actually very lean. It's about four and a half to five grams of fat per serving on this. You can even cut off some of the extra fat on the ends if you want, and also very, very cheap. So for See, three and a half pounds, I got it for $8.72. So I got seven for the upcoming week. I am going to freeze about three or four of these. If you're like me, you live alone, but you still want to buy in bulk, that's a great solution. And then I'm going to hit it with some of this Montreal steak seasoning. This is some of my favorite seasoning ever. And so they're pretty thin. They're probably going to bake in about 30 to 35 minutes. I'm just going to keep my eye on, eye on them and we'll be done. So tonight for dinner, we're going to have a lot of asparagus. I'm such a mess. We're gonna have two of those pork chops. These are the clips I should redo, but you know what? You guys, you see what you get, you get what you see, whichever. Whichever you like, you know, it's your world. I think I already said that. Okay, I'm gonna eat this. It's gonna be pretty low carb, a little bit higher in protein and fat, and then we'll catch up on some carbs later this evening. And to reward myself for all of that hard work, we're gonna have this Halo Top gingerbread house. I believe this is still in season. This flavor is awesome if you guys ever see it at the store. Makes me miss Christmas already. Final meal of the night here. Want to get a little extra protein and some added carbs as well. Chobani plain Greek yogurt. This is poison. It is terrible. I don't know how anyone can eat this by itself. It tastes like you're eating a punishment or something like that. It is not good at all. So to save it, the only thing in this world that can save it Pea Science Select Protein. I'm using the chocolate cupcake. This is delicious. It's the only thing that could possibly save something that tastes so horrendous. And if you didn't know, you can always save 15% using Travis at PeaScience.com. I love this flavor, so this way, I, I get some added thickness for the protein. And here is something that I like to do. I like to take some rice cakes, and then I just kind of break them up, kind of use them as scoops. So you got almost like a sludge-like consistency with the Greek yogurt and the protein powder. And that is basically how we're gonna end the night. So I really hope some of you guys try out that soup. If you do, please let me know, tag me on Instagram, send it to my DMs, whatever you wanna do, I'd be interested to see. Don't ever buy this by itself, guys. If you, if you have some plain Greek yogurt, you're gonna need, you're gonna need some of this guy right here. But 
Thank you all so much for taking the time out of your day to watch. You could have been doing anything, anything in the entire world and you chose to spend a few minutes with me. That is pretty awesome. Please give the video a like, subscribe if you're new, and I look forward to talking to you guys next time.